Hello everyone, this is Mr. Reyes once again. I am here to guide you with our lesson for today. Our learning objectives for today, the learner illustrates arithmetic sequence, identifies if a sequence is arithmetic or not, determines the common difference of an arithmetic sequence, determines missing or next terms of an arithmetic sequence. A warm-up activity first. The price is for right. Mateo asks a question for a price of 150 pesos. If the person being asked does not answer correctly, the price money increased by 100 pesos each attempt until someone correctly answers the question. Make a list of the price amounts for the six attempts. I want you to complete the table below by indicating those prices each attempt. You can pause the video and try to fill up the table. And the answers are 150, 250, 350, 450, 550, and 650. Did you get it correctly? What if someone finally got the answer on the 10th attempt? How much would be the price? If your answer is 1,050 pesos, that is the correct answer. The price amounts listed in the table form a special type of sequence. 150, 250, 350, 450, 550, 650, and so on is an example of arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. To find the common difference D, subtract any term from the one that follows it. From our warm-up activity a while ago, these are the terms. The 100 pesos being added is the common difference. If this 100 is not given, just simply look at the given sequence. Subtract any term from the number before it. Is the meaning of arithmetic sequence clear to you? Are you ready to learn more about arithmetic sequence? If so, then you have to perform the following examples. Examples determine the first term and the common difference of the following arithmetic sequences. Number 1. 1, negative 4, negative 9, negative 14. Obviously, our first term is 1. To get the common difference, let us take the first term and the second term. Subtract the 1 from negative 4. So we have uh, negative 4 minus 1 equals negative 5. For our second example, we have 11, 23, 35, 47, and so on. And our first term is 11. Let us use the first and the second term to get the common difference. Subtract the 11 from 23. So we have 23 minus 11, so the answer is 12. Perform the following examples. Pause the video and check your answer later. And the answer for our number 3, the first term is 11 and the common difference is positive 9. For our number 4, our first term is negative 18 and our common difference is positive 3. And once again, just be careful with the rule of sign. And do not just focus on the first and the second terms. You can use other two consecutive terms if you want, provided that the sequence is already confirmed as an arithmetic. More examples, we are going to determine if the sequence could be arithmetic. And if so, we are going to give the common difference. Number 1, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. Let's check every two consecutive terms. It gives same differences of a positive 3. So meaning, the sequence is arithmetic with a common difference of 3. For the second problem, looking at the differences from, from two consecutive terms, we have uh, differences are not the same. So meaning, the sequence is not an arithmetic. Let us have another two items. 
Determine if the following is an arithmetic. If that is an arithmetic, give the common difference. Pause the video and check your answer later. For the number 3, let us get the common difference from the two consecutive terms. It gives negative 5. So therefore, our sequence is arithmetic with the common difference of negative 5. And for the number 4, let us check those consecutive terms. We have 2, another 2, another 2, but the last two terms give a common difference of 1. So therefore, the sequence is not an arithmetic. Find the next term of the following arithmetic sequences. Number 1. 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25. First thing you will do is to get the common difference. Let us take 13 and 10. So 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. So therefore, to get the next term, take the last term of 25 and add the common difference of 3. So the answer or the next term is 28. For the second item and third item, I want you to post the video and check your answer later. And the answers are negative 8 and positive 23. Did you get it correctly? Let us try more examples. This time, you will be challenged with a fraction and the other one is an algebraic expression. I want you to post the video and try to solve it your own. For the number 4, let us solve for the common difference first. Getting 5 halves and 2, so 5 halves minus 2. Get the less common denominator, so therefore the answer is 1 half. To solve for the next term, make use of the last term of 9 halves and add that to our common difference of 1 half, so the answer is 5. For our last item, again this is a different problem. We need to solve for the common difference first. Taking 3x plus 3, subtract that to the x plus 2, combine similar term, you will have 2x plus 1. To solve for the next term, get the last term of 7x plus 5. Add it to the common difference of 2x plus 1. So you will have 7x plus 5 plus 2x plus 1. Therefore, our next term is 9x plus 6. Our last three items. Find the missing terms of the following arithmetic sequences. Post the video and check your answer later. And the answers are, did you get it correctly? Well done. If some items go wrong, just go back with your scratch and try to come up with the answer. And for our next meeting, we are going to generate a formula for arithmetic sequence so that we can solve any term of the arithmetic sequence whether that is 50 yet term or 100 yet term. And let me close our session with this quotation. Everything you need comes to you in perfect time, space, and sequence. Make it worth the learning. I did my best. Everything becomes perfect in time. You have your space, but your sequence of life's activities should involve education as the best term in your sequence. And as I always say, pass the assigned activities from your module on time. See you next time!